This is difficult because I'm asking you to get into somebody's psyche and we don't know what he's thinking. But if I was him, I'd just be like, that's it now. I've done everything. I've done everything I've ever wanted to achieve. To go back to France and play against Rennes in Ligue 1, you know, no offence, uh, Jules. But that's what makes them what Leave me is. alone, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, it's hard enough. <laughs> but that's kind of what makes them what he is until the end of the season, at least. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, it's not going to be easy. And uh, Gaultier might have to get on the blower a little, little sharpish. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, he's not answering that call for a while. It seems to be the telecoms <laughs> in Buenos Aires are down. I wonder if it did a bleeping noise. But, you know, I, so it's hard to it's hard to deny I'm a celebration or two, the whole no. lot. I mean, I mean yeah. you can only imagine what Argentina is like. Yes. And, yeah, it's going to be difficult, but, but that kind of maketh the man in terms of the rest of this season, we'll, yeah. we will see. But going forward, what, what's to achieve? What? And yet, let's, let's just take the other side of the argument. He's achieved everything. So there's been a whole lot of pressure on Lionel Messi. Right. There's been a whole lot of attention on Lionel Messi. He's achieved it, and now he plays with a free soul. Where, no matter what I do, yes. I can lean on all of this. All of this is mine. Yeah. So maybe that freedom of thought, of spirit, of feeling, once he gets uh, beyond having won the World Cup, which is going to take some time, He's just going to say, well, let's play for the fun of it. Right. And Messi playing for the fun of it may still be the best player in the world. Yeah. And so I think for now he will finish with PSG. But as, as Craig was alluding to there, once you get into the summer and then yeah. you have to get ready for the next season and you, you, you have to continue that sort of preparation and, and mental sharpness and everything and all the sacrifices that it takes to play at a high level, like Lionel Messi has played for the last 15 years or so, that's when perhaps it's going right. to become tough because then you're kind of like, mm, it's hard to find the motivation now. Yeah. I don't really have it in me. And who would blame him, by the way? Who would blame him if he were Jules, to say... Jules would blame him. Say, well, but, See you guys later. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Uh, Jules, will for <laughs> Jules, Jules will forgive him yeah, if, he wins win. a, if he wins the Champions no, League for PSG. Jules, you'll forgive him, won't you? Maybe. No, he won't. <laughs> no, he won't. Maybe. No, he was a hat trick in the final. Uh, Frank, you've been there and done that, obviously, winning the World Cup, not quite in the same manner in which Messi had. Of course, he's very much at the tail end of his career. But could you understand if he just went, look, that's it, I'm done? Of course, of course. And I think um, Paris Saint Germain, Christophe Galtier, will have to be very clever uh, with him. Um, to make sure that he doesn't come back too early, that he can digest his title, you know, and see with him how he wants to come back and the, the way he wants to come back. I think it's a real discussion to have with a guy. He's 35. He's not, he's not going to fake it. He, uh, I think he loves football. He respects football. So he wants to carry on because he has a contract. But yes, the question uh, will be uh, asked and, uh, and let's see how he, he wants to... Uh, uh, to uh, wh wh where he wants to go. But I understand that. Um, I, when we came back to train at, um, uh, close to Stamford Bridge um, in, uh, a, uh, with Chelsea, with Marcel de Sailly, <laughs> uh, that was a nightmare. You, you <laughs> Three weeks after the World Cup, and you say, well, we don't want to run. We don't, we don't care, you know. We, we heard the Concorde, you know, taking off. We couldn't talk. I mean, it was windy. We are in England where nobody cared. You know, <laughs> well, well, no. we, we want to have some holidays. We want to party and we want to digest. Let's see how it works. Uh, it, the guy loves football. I think he's a crazy yeah. lover of football, so I'm sure he wants to carry on. OK. Should we talk about France? I kind of want to talk about Kun Aguero, but I don't think we've got time. <laughs> <laughs> we just <laughs> disappeared <laughs> with a drum. In the <laughs> 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 Somebody tell him he was in the squad. Hey, Kun. Kun, I thought you were sick. Hey, take it easy, Kun. Cool. I thought he was going to shove people off the podium. <laughs> <laughs> this is my world. Cup. That's my favourite moment with the celebrations. <laughs> Aguero suddenly appearing. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.